I dropped a video because I've been busy. But as you can see over here over my shoulder, I got a package, got a mail call. And uh, I can't wait to jump into that. I really can't. But till you find out who it's from. But uh, what have I been doing for the last couple of weeks? Well, I've, I haven't been doing a whole lot of hunting. I did some hunting with Raul. And let me turn this camera around. The hunting that I did with Raul, uh, didn't find a whole lot of Hot Wheels. In fact, we didn't really find any Hot Wheels. But man, went to Sam's Club and I picked myself up one of these. And I didn't just pick up one of these, I, picked, I bought oh, seven cars. Seven of these Maestos 118s from Sam's Club. This is the 2009 GTR. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, man, this thing, it is full, full detail. Open the doors, I mean, look at that interior. And come around to the front here. And this, this is just sitting on my desk. Look at that engine. So I have this one just sitting here on my desk, but uh, not only did I pick up that, I picked up this Porsche. And I guess, you know, after doing a little research, I found out that this is the new um, casting for them. So a lot of people are trying to look for this car. But you can see it's the Porsche 911 GT3. Again, has opening doors. Look at the interior, full interior. But uh, hood opens, you know, has all that kind of stuff. Um, but the 911 GT3 RS 4.0 in black and in white, same car, different colorway. And then I bought Ferraris. Can't go wrong with the Ferraris. Same thing, super detailed. You get down in there and look at those interiors. But, uh, you know, you can open up the backs of them. I'll open it with You can open the backs of them and look at the motors. This guy here is really cool. This race car looking thing. Love it. Love, love, love it. So I guess that's the FXXK. Um, old cat, I mean, Mesa's been putting this cast out for a couple of years now. Um, this one's new. This is a new cast for him. And so is this. Now that's the same car. This is the Spider version of it just very very cool so yeah i picked up i picked up those ferraris and those porsches and that nissan gtr hanging out with Raul. that was last sunday um we were out and about hunting for hunt for hot wheels didn't really come across anything but we went over to sam's club and i found those very cool another thing that i've been doing a lot of is um whatnot I was introduced to the Whatnot app and I started buying some stuff on Whatnot. Like that Liberty Walk Porsche right there, I got that from Whatnot. And you know, you can find some deals on there. Whatnot is an app where where you, uh, it's like a live auction. Well, it is not, it's not like a live auction, it is. It's a live auction. You can bid on, on all kinds of stuff, but they have a die cast section. And uh, yeah, they go on there and bid on cars. This one, that car there, that's my boy Manny, Customs Garage. Manny from Customs, you know, he gave that to me. Manny from Manny's Custom Garage. He uh, he hooked me up with that one. But um, yeah, these two Sparky Porsches, both 24 hour of Le Mans. Um, it's the Porsche RSR. I believe that one was actually a winner. Like that one won the Le Mans. Uh, I'm not sure of the year. What year did it? Years it say it went one 2014. So yeah, 2014 that was actually the car that won in its class of the 24 hours of the month. And I, believe, and I believe this one is a 2020 Porsche RSR for the Le Mans race. So yeah, you know I, uh, I I grabbed those off of whatnot and I grabbed dude I've been buying a bunch of stuff off of whatnot because like I picked up these gassers. And whatnot and oh i got a gasser to show you guys i can't wait to jump into that one um i picked up several ferraris there's two i picked up like six i think all together um here are three more ferraris that one's really nice again guys i got these off of what off of whatnot getting on there doing the auctions check out this zamac ferrari very cool 
Send it in this protective case. It's kind of too bad because I'm gonna open it and it's gonna go, well, it's gonna go over here in the Ferrari case. So I decided to make that my Ferrari case. So got all that. Of course, there's the, the wall of all the die casts. Um, bone shakers. What else did I pick up? Okay, I can't show you that one just yet. I grabbed this, these two cars. Uh, co you know, stuff I'll never see on pegs again. And it came up and, it, and it, wasn't, it wasn't crazy expensive, so I grabbed them. And I'll be opening those and they'll go up in the display case. I uh, got the, picked up this Zamac. Again, it was cool and it was for the right price, so I grabbed it. And check out this Bugatti. It is the mystery car Bugatti. Back when they did the mystery car in those in the black, um, on you know they were carded with the black, not in the little baggies like to do them now. But yeah, so grab you know I grabbed the Bugatti. Again, it wasn't it wasn't like ridiculously priced or anything. So so I went ahead and grabbed it. And I got it. And I think it's cool. I love this packaging. I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave it packaged like this. I think that looks really cool. So I'm going to leave it, leave it packaged like that. Um, <clears throat> all right. So before I jump into this mail call, I have to show you this. Now I picked this up. I got it probably like a week ago, but old man die cast Pete, there's his sticker. He did this custom gasser and I had to have it and he sent it to me. So here it is. Look at this thing. Pete did a bang up job on this. Absolutely love it. Now I told him not to put it on a card cause you know, I'm going to open it. It's going to go into a plastic case so they can go back there with the other customs. So it can be on the, on the custom wall, but he put it back in here. So I got to open this up. Open this up and I'm going to put his sticker on the mat. Well, this is in the way. So we're going to have to get into this box. But man, isn't that nice, guys? I think I think he killed it. In fact, right now, as, as it stands, that, that will probably be the photo montage. So, all right, getting into this mail call. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Get these Ferraris out of the way. Getting into this mail call. This comes from a man... Mustang Hunter, Jason, he sent me this package and I cannot wait to get into this. Check it out. He's so military, he used green duct tape. Love this guy. All right, let me get this camera set set up, set down so that uh, I can have both hands and we can jump into this and see what he All sent right, me. We are set up. Let's see, let's see what the Mustang Hunter has sent us. It's open. It is open. All right, now let's see. Let's see what he sent. Let's see what he sent. This looks like a note. A note, a note. Oh, he wrote some stuff. <clears throat> Says, this is just a small thank you for being an awesome friend. I definitely miss you. So enjoy these cars. Do what you want with them. I threw in two supers. What? One is loose, but feel, but feel you need this one. Uh, there is a bag with red stock car and black Ford. Those are for Wade. Okay. Take care, Jason the Mustang Hunter. All right, so, so a red stock car and a black Ford. Those are for Wade. Two supers. Oh man, I can't wait to get into this now. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's get this plastic out the way here. Oh my gosh, already. Guys, oh my, mm, 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 look at this. Right out the, right out the jump, look at that. So it's obviously, you can see this is a Porsche 550 speeder. Man, that is nice. Look at the detail on this thing. Now you can see that it has the rubber bands on it. I might, 
I might actually go in there and take those rubber bands off so it doesn't ruin the paint. Um, we'll have to see on that. So, man, look at that. That is so cool. Not just one, two. There's two. Dude, Jason, this is too much already. Look at this. These are amazing. These are, these are freaking amazing. Bumping the camera. Let's get this set back. Get, uh, wait, are this, is this a sticker? No, this is, are these stickers? Those look like, they're not, they're, these are, uh, oh, what are they called? Oh man, what do they call this? This is um, coasters. Here's a sticker. Old dude die cast. Nice. I will put that on the bench. So these are coasters. Put your drinks on. I'm not gonna do that. Those are cool. Here's all the stickers. Okay, let me get into this. Oh, nice. Jesse's die cast. That will go on the bench. Who do we got here? Who do we got here? The Seeger Brothers. I actually think, dude, these kids crack me up. I love these guys. They're fun to watch. And then, of course, I got the No Scalpers sticker. That will go on the workbench. Yeah, these, these guys crack me up. I think they got a future in doing YouTube stuff. All right, what do we got here? Oh, my. Look at this. That's not a port. That looks like a. No, I think it's a Lexus. YM model. That's a Lexus. Look at that grill in the front. So that is that is definitely a Lexus. Dude, that thing, this this rocks. That is so cool. I wonder if that crack is on the case on the inside. You see that crack right there? I wonder if that's on the case on the inside. Dude, that's nice. That is nice. We got a bunch of loose here. I think I want to do, well, we'll just go through it. Let's just start with the loose. Oh, look at this. This is a treasure hunt. This is the Lamborghini treasure hunt. Look at that. Look at that color on that. I honestly didn't, I wonder, so when did this, when was this a treasure hunt? What year? Cause I didn't know, I actually didn't know this existed, but I have like all the other color vari. I have all the color variations of this in the main line. That is cool. I'll put this next to the Lamborghini Miura. So guys, I'm gonna be opening all of my soup, um, my all of my super treasure hunts. I'm gonna open all of them, and they're going in a display case, and that'll be a video that's coming up of me opening all of my all of my supers. Man, that looks good, Jason. Thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna put this back over here. <clears throat> what do we got loose? Can't see it through the plastic. You know me. Gotta open them up. Gotta open them. Now, he said, make sure I know this is right. So there is a red stock car and a black Ford. Those are for Wade. That would be these. So I'm going to put those like this. And we're gonna set those aside. Wade, those are coming to you. Set that aside, nice. Look, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> look at that little, look at that little Porsche. That is amazing. I gotta get this open. Gotta get this open. Okay, first check this thing out. Oh, look at that, and that's a, is that metal? 
think that might look. That's got a little screw in the bottom of it. That actually might be casted. Check it out. <laughs> that thing is so cool. Love that. Love, love, love that. Now, look at this thing. I um, I actually have this one. I'm, I'm currently looking over. I have, I actually have this one. So this is a second one. So you know, it's always good to have two. All right, let's set that aside. What do we got here? BMW. Oh, that's metal base. That's metal base, metal body. Is this car culture? And rubber tires, this is a premium. It's the BMW M3, premium. Sweet. I don't have this. This is gonna go in the display case with the, with the premiums. And yes, you know, eventually, here, hold on. I really need to do a thing where I talk about my display case because this half, all of these are premium cars. And then all of this right now is Porsche. But uh, this is gonna come down. I think I'm gonna put these in jammers. And then just as my premium collection grows, it's gonna, this whole wall is gonna be premiums. So, but I gotta take all these down, put them in jammers. So, I think, I think that's the Porsche right there. Anyway, very cool. And I have, there's something that's all organized. I'll have to talk about how I have it organized over there too. But that is gonna go in the display case with up there on the wall with the other premiums, with the other BMWs. Very cool. That's very cool. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Here's some more loose. What do we got? Oh, what is, okay, what is this? Getting new things here. Out, out, out. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. So first we'll start with this. Here is another premium Porsche. This is car culture. I'm familiar with this one. This is out of car culture. Um, I don't know what year it's from in car culture. But so this will go up on the wall with the other premiums. Very nice. Man, he's sending some fire. Look at this thing. So is this, what brand is this? Is this Hot Wheels? Made in China. I don't see the Hot Wheels flame on it. And I'll show you why here in a second. Well, because this is a Hot Wheels cast. This is a Purple Passion. But it's tiny and it looks like it has, it has wheel riders on it. It's got wheel riders and it's metal. It's like all, I think it's plastic base. But that's a metal body with wheel riders. It's a Purple Passion. So is this, I don't see that it says Hot Wheels on it anywhere, but check this out. Same thing. Does it say Hot Wheels on there anywhere? It says, well, so it says Bone Shaker right there, but I don't see Hot Wheels on this at all. And this is what the first edition looks like. And those are wheel riders. Again, wheel riders, metal, metal body. Looks like a, feels like a plastic base. Check this thing out. Jason, where did you find this? I did not even know this existed. This thing is a, this is awesome. Okay, so that's gonna go over there in the bone shakers with the bone shaker case. That's crazy cool, crazy cool. All right, what I wanna do is, ah, screw it, we're just gonna pull these out. I'll just set them on the box behind until I run out of room. <clears throat> Look at this, Hot Wheels Classic, Volkswagen Bug. This is nice. Looks premium. Those don't look like plastic wheels. I think those are actually rubber, rubber wheels. So, did the Hot Wheels Classic get like the full treatment? Headlights, taillights, wheel riders, metal base, metal body. Did the Hot Wheels Classics get the full treatment? I guess they, 
It looks like they did, because it looks like this did. That is really cool. Um, man, if this is a premium car, I want to open it and put it in the display case. I don't want to keep it carded. Ooh, Jason, I may be opening, I may be cracking a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> you may be, I may be opening all of this. Here it is, here's another Volkswagen Beetle. Again, metal base, I can tell that that's a metal base. Um, man, look at that paint job. It's almost like Spectra Flame. Yeah, it's almost like a Spectra Flame in there. Redline wheels that look rubber. I mean, the only way I'm gonna know is to actually open it and see. These, these are nice, this is nice. Look at that. I wish they would tell you on the back who the designers were for these. Cause I think, I think this is Larry Wood. I think Larry Wood is the designer of the bug, but <clears throat> I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to look that up. I wish they would put it on the cars themselves. I have no idea what this is. A nitro door slammer. This is a part of track stars. Card's kind of beat up, so you know what this means. He must want me to open this. And he, oh, look at that. It's a treasure hunt. It's a treasure hunt. You know what that means? Holy shit, is this a super treasure hunt? Oh, sorry, watch my language. That's gold. And that's the TH, not the flame. This is a super treasure hunt. Huh. Wow, that's cool. Man, thanks. Thank you so much. Very cool. Well, with the way this card is, I'm opening it. I'm gonna open this up. 2016. Yeah, very cool. Jason, thank you so much for that. Or Mustang Hunter, thank you so much for that. I hope you don't mind that I use your actual name and not your, your channel name. Look at this. That is a beauty right there. Look at that. It's the 1932 Ford. Look at that Spectra Flame Red. That is a color you can't go wrong with. Absolutely love it. Look at how the, the front end is done on that. Detailed it up the firewall. Making it look like it was on fire. Wow, dude, this is nice. I'm digging these Hot Wheels classics. This is very cool. I hope you don't mind if I open all these, because <laughs> Ooh, it may happen. It might just happen. All right, what do we got here? Here's a set. Ah, look at that. So I have one of these loose. Currently, I'm looking at it right now. I turn around and I can see. So I have this loose, I don't have it carded. But that's because, you know, I did this whole, I gotta open everything. So I, now I have it carded. Um, I really, really like this, this cast. And my favorite livery in this cast is the Magnus Walker. Mostly because that's actually, you know, his car. That's what he daily drives for reals so very cool very very cool love that love that cast love that 911 what is this this is a 2004 first edition twin meal tuned it doesn't say tuned but that's got to be tuned it's called hard hard nose it's a hard nose well that's a big nose it should be called big nose not hard nose Look at those motors. <laughs> this thing is wicked cool. Look at those motors. Craziness. Big nose. Well, they call it a hard nose. That's a big nose right there. Maybe he's trying to say something to me. Oh my goodness, look at this. I, do, I don't have this one in the Nightburners. 
this is cool. The motor, this, this is a mid-engine car. The motor sits right back there in the back. That's cool. And typically Hot Wheels doesn't just make cars. You know, I mean, they have their fantasy castings, but cars like this, this one exists. I bet it does. I bet you can go out there and you can find the real car that they, that inspired that Hot Wheel. All right, moving on, moving on. What else we got here? The Acura NSX in blue. I have the black, I have the white. I don't have the blue. So that'll be a great addition. Dude, I love this. So this is then and now, but the nice thing is, is they did full detail. You got taillights, you got the Acura sign on the back, you know, you got headlights, Acura sign on the hood. You know, this is, in my opinion, I would say this is full, full detail. Even though there's no like tampos on the side or on the on the top, you know, it's just got the front and back, which I prefer this right here. This makes the cars look so much nicer. So much nicer when you have that full detail. It doesn't wash out because typically when you don't have tail, especially taillights, when you don't have the taillights and you look at the back of the car, the car looks washed out. Like it just does, it doesn't, you know, I don't know, it looks washed out. Check this out. The 73. BMW 3.0 CSL race car Castrol livery Very cool This is cool man Dang nice Guys at this point I'm just reaching into the box and grabbing stuff Honda S2000 Wow. Okay, I, is this, so it came from a set, came from a Honda set. So then one of the cool things is, is Rio Asada didn't know uh, his first cast that he did for Hot Wheels was the S2000, was this cast. This is his cast and it's of his actual car. Ryu drove this car, so. That's really cool. Look at how it's all detailed. And his car was red too. Uh, Lamley was just talking about that. I don't know if you guys watched Lamley, but um, he was just talking about that because he, you know, the new releases of, of the S2000 came out and they came out in a certain order and it came out in the same order in which Ryu released his, you know, red being first. It was red, um, silver, what was the other color? Yellow. It was red, silver, and yellow. And Hot Wheels, they, they kind of did like a re-release of that. This is really cool. I really like this. And the detailing on this is, yeah, this is really, really nice. And this whole presentation. So I don't, this is not, this is gonna get a protector put on it. And this is not getting opened. This is going into a protector. And this is gonna become wall art very nice i like dang thank you jay that's nice thank you got a, another civic honda not well it, it actually is a civic but it's the honda crx so but this is from this is a civic this is cool you don't hear a funny story about the crx so my sister this is back when we were kids she just got a job. She was 16 years old, has her driver's license, has a job, really, really, really wanting to buy a car. And my dad was gonna go buy her a Honda CRX. Like I went to the dealership with him. We were gonna, he was gonna buy her a Honda CRX. Uh, you know, and he was being a typical parent where they were kind of strag, you know, bringing her along and kind of like telling her, you know, hey, you gotta have a job. You gotta like, there's certain things she had to do. But I went to the dealership, he was gonna buy her a CRX, and she was impatient, and she bought a Yugo. Now, she bought that car herself from her own money, but she bought a Yugo, and she could have had a CRX. So, there you go. 
She could have had a CRX, end up driving a Yugo. Props to her though, because like I said, she bought that car with her own money. And it was her own car. But still, a little patience and she'd have been driving a much better car. Okay, we got a Honda Civic Type R. Look at the livery on this. Look at that pearl white. There's that silver. Is that a white or is that silver? I think it's white with like a silver flake or a silver, I don't know, this is nice. I like that, I like how the Civic is on there, the Type R. Headlights, ooh, no taillights. But you have Honda across the back. So now here, look at this. If you can do Honda, if you can do that tampo with the, with the red badge, that would signify that it's a Type R. Why couldn't you do taillights? You could totally have done taillights along with this. What year was this? 2005, so this was still Tampa work. This is when they were still doing Tampos. So those are stickers, not, that's not the laser print that they do now. Still cool, that is very, very cool. They should have done taillights. Short card. Dude, my short card collection is growing and growing and growing. Got the 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. It, it, it screams 70s with those stripes. Purple with those with those stripes with that livery on this car. That just screams the 70s. Big burly cars. Drinking gas. I don't even want to know what the gas miles on that thing would be. Ooh, check this out. Austin Healy. This red and white two-tone. So the Austin Healy, very cool car. If you ever get your hands on one, even one that's broken, like this beat to snot, got, it's all dented up, grab it. Cause <laughs> these cars are just going up and up and up and up in value. Good luck uh, ever owning an Austin Healey. Outside of having it as a toy, as a matchbox, I mean as a Hot Wheels. But yeah, the Austin Healey, great car. Very cool car, rich history in this car. Uh, it doesn't say, it doesn't give it any of them back, but yeah. Look up the Austin Healey and how much it would cost to own one, just to buy one. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. What do we have here? I don't know what this is. Cadillac. Is this Cadillac? Oh, yes, look at that. It's a Cadillac. 2004 first edition. Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> Would you consider this a donk or is this just like really tuned? It's interesting. Very chop top. Super big wheels. Of the emblem on the back, Cadillac emblem on the back. <laughs> cool, that's a fun car. All right, what do we got here? Is it Carmagia? I did not know that Mattel made a Carmagia. Dude, my wife loves the Carmagia. This might actually be a car I could give her and she'd appreciate. She loves the Carmagia. If she could have and own a classic car, this would be it. It's even convertible. Not no, I'm not sure about the color. She might like the color, I don't know. But I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna show this to her and see what, what she says, what she thinks. And if she likes it, I'm gonna just say it's hers. I'm gonna give it to her. So here you go. Put it put it somewhere where you can look at it. Or take it take it out of this out of his blister and carry it around. Put it in your purse. That's cool. That is very cool. I'm gonna ask my wife about that. It's like I said, she she loves the Carmagias. Man, Jason, he sent a lot of stuff. Toyota Supra. Okay, I only own, I only have one other Supra in my collection and it's the mystery car model. Look at this one in the Falcon livery. Dude, this is nice. This is real nice. It would be nicer if, if there were some taillight details, but I love this Falcon livery. Just 
that right there. Ooh, you know what? The card art is kind of plain though. This is getting cracked. I'm gonna take this out. This is gonna go, I'm gonna, so I can put it next to the, to the other one that I own. Yeah, I have the mystery model one of these. That's it. So uh, now I have this and, and the mystery model. I'm running out of space to put stuff, Jason. I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to move this box. When we do the recap, I'll move the box. Oh, look at this Batmobile. That is cool. Okay, so he was telling me about this. So yeah, it's Scooby-Doo and Batman. There it is. <laughs> That's cool. He showed this to me. He actually showed this to me. He sent a picture of it. And I was like, all day, all day. It's just, yeah, that's just cool. Uh-oh. Just told on him. We'll cover that up. Look at that. Look at that. So cool. When did they, when did they put this one out? 2017, so 20, 2018, not too long ago. Not too long ago, part of the screen time cars. I like it. I like it a lot, I'll set that there. And up next we have, oh, look, another BMW, another 1973. Castrol livery. This is cool. Now there was a super of this, never found it. Never found the BMW Super, but it was this cast. I think it was this cast. Yeah, it was this cast that they did the, the Super in. That's cool. Very cool. Reach in, see what else we got. What's coming out next? Volkswagen Bug, now I have this one. I know I have this one. But do you know who else likes Volkswagen Bugs besides monster trucks? Is my dad. When he was quite a bit younger, he actually drove a Volkswagen Bug. He tells me, he told me a story of an alien encounter while he was driving his Volkswagen Bug. It's a great story. Maybe one day we'll see if we can get him to tell us. Driving out on the reservation in his Volkswagen Beetle. Very cool though, but I do have this one. I might, I might pass this one along to my dad. Might do that. Cause you know, the Mustang Hunter did say, I can do with what I want. I can do whatever I want with them. Check this out. Volkswagen Squareback, Zamac. Again, gonna be open. I like how they do the Zamac with the green. They've done this livery or this colorway on, on other Zamacs. And just that, that bare metal with the green looks good it works of course the black accents are also nice too very cool and I believe this is the first Volkswagen square back that I have in my collection don't think I have in fact I know I don't have any others Mazda RX-7 these are cool these are cool screams you know just screams race car. Look at those taillights. See how much better it looks with the taillights, with the detailing? This is a then and now. Okay. It's got great detailing on this. Front, the front detailing's done. This, the indicators are done. Got the, the emblem right there. Very nice. Very well done. Then and now. I drove a Mark 7 when I was in high school. It wasn't my car, it was my mother's car, but she let me drive it. And yes, I uh, I drove it like I stole it. <laughs> drove it like I stole it. Hey, first edition Ford, the 1940s Ford. I just picked this up. I mean, not this car. I picked up, where is it? Hold on, it's gotta be like right back here somewhere. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, I just found this in the uh, in the store. This is KK's. I grabbed them. I'm like, you know what? I am gonna just go ahead and grab it. So it, it's kind of cool that now I have the, I have the first edition to go with it. So you know what that means. Now I gotta find all the other variations. 
because I have the first edition and the latest release. <laughs> now I gotta find all of the ones in between. Oh, rabbit holes. Love them, love them. That's why we do this, isn't it? Okay, let's put this one back over here. Crazy, I just picked that up. <clears throat> what do we got here? BMW 850i. So this 8 Series BMW, funny story about this car. Got some good uh, taillight. It's got the, the indicators in it, red interior, silver. BMW was going out of business, guys. They were going out of business and they needed they needed something. These doors open? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked right now. It looks like those doors open. Does this say special feature on this anywhere? Am I crazy? It looks like that door opens. Now I wanna crack this open and see if that door opens. So back to my story about BMWs. They're going out of business and they needed help. They needed a car, they needed something to help, uh, <clears throat> you know, boost their company, push them to the next level. And this car was designed. And this car was designed by Lamborghini. The man, Lamborghini himself. He designed this car um, to help BMW. So this is a collab between Bavarian Motor Works and Lamborghini. And they, this is what they came up with. It's the only BMW with flip up headlights. That's the other cool thing about this car. So yeah, Lamborghini came to BMW's rescue and this is a result of that. And this car sold like hotcakes and it kept BMW from going out of business. This car designed by Lamborghini. The only one with flip up headlights. Very cool. Thank you for that. <clears throat> Batmobile. I have this one. I have five or six of this one because I have a problem when it comes to Batmobile. Always good to have another one. Maybe I'll crack this one. I'll do a little, little, little modifications to it. And I'll send it back to you, Jason, as my racer, as my new race car for the upcoming races on your track. Because I think that I think my F my uh, my F40 got retired, which is cool. I mean, had a good run. I think I finished in second place because Brandon Murray happened to have a fast NASCAR up there. Whatever. That's a whole other video. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might crack this, do some modifications to it. You know, maybe grease up those wheels a little bit, put a number on it, send it back to you, and this will be my race car for your track. Okay, I feel like we're getting close to it. Looks like there's about three more cars in here. Getting close to the end. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Larry Wood. Now, you guys, you know I love Larry Wood. Now, you probably all know why I love Larry Wood. This is kind of cockeyed in there. That's fine. Because Larry Woods is the one that designed the Bone Shaker. And I love the Bone Shaker. Found out who the designer was. Well, it's Larry Wood. So then I looked up a bunch of his like designs and what he's done. And he's, man, he's put together so many cool cars. Look at the front grille on this thing. Larry Wood is a heck of a designer. He's still kicking around too. He's old. I think he's in his 80s. But uh, he's still out there signing autographs, you know, signing people's cars so this is cool 33 Ford Roadster look at those wheels the flames on these thing on this thing I really I'm digging that front grille though that looks really cool really really cool he also Larry would also another car that I seem to have a lot of because I just I like him so I keep grabbing him is the so fine it's another one that Larry Wood designed. Very cool. Love Larry Wood. Love his designs. He's a very talented designer. Um, you know, he's up there with Juna Mai and, and Ryu Asada. Um, yeah. All right, next. <laughs> now, I've seen this on the pegs a couple times. The push puller. It's a car with two front ends. There's no... You know, it's the same car, two front ends. And if you look in there, there's a steering wheel on that side, steering wheel on that side. So you can drive this car either way. <laughs> look at that deco. That's cool. 
<laughs> so I've seen this a lot on the pegs and I and I would look at it and I'd be like, oh, mm, nah, and I'd put it back. So but now I don't have to worry about that because now here it is, it's in my collection. I have the push puller, crazy concept. There, there, there's people who've actually made these. They actually, <laughs> that car has been made. And this is the last car. There you go. It's a red line. Baja Bug red line. That's cool. Oh, look. Is that? Okay, that's the red line. That's the red line wheel. Mm. Look at this blue card, man. That blue card is awesome. I think Hot Wheels needs to go back to something like this, but let's see. This is 2006, so this would come out in 2007. 405. I guess these are the other cars. Pontiac Firebird, 68 Nova, Ford GT40. That would be cool to see. The Custom 69 Chevy. <clears throat> and the Bug. Um, yeah, sorry, Dad. I'm going to hang on to this. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to this one. Very cool. So you can see the box is empty. Jason, this is an amazing, amazing mail call. I don't... If I were to go ahead and recap everything, um, then I would have a whole nother, you know, 30 minutes of video. But just real quick to go over some of the, just to recap some of the stuff, this thing. Man, I can't get over it. This is very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I wanna do some more research on this. I don't know what this brand is or anything about this, but that looks really cool and i can tell that's a lexus now looking at it i can see that that's a, that is a lexus um man this this little bone shaker it's so cool and it's done up like the first edition these well these hot wheels classics are, are very cool very cool but oh my gosh this and this wow love these um i'm gonna jump in there i think well so it looks like this one already has a rubber band removed maybe not because look at that those seals aren't broken how come it doesn't have rubber bands you guys see that no rubber bands this one has rubber bands in it yeah seals aren't broken man i might go in there and Take those rubber bands off so it doesn't ruin the paint hopefully it hasn't already ruined the paint these look amazing I absolutely love these these are so cool so, and this is actually the third one of these he's given me hold on guys I, I kid you not because a while back before he left Arizona, he gave me this one, which is also very cool. So my collectibles are growing because of him. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to mull over that rubber band though. I don't know what I want to do with that. So check, so check this out. Super, this is a super treasure hunt from 2016 very cool and then the Aventador J the Lamborghini Aventador J this is also really cool I love that paint and the fact that I have all the color variations of this car well <laughs> I actually didn't know that this was ever a, tre a super treasure hunt so now I can say I have all the color variations of this car. Very cool. Jason, this is an amazing mail call. Thank you very, very much. Um, photo montage. You guys up for a photo montage still? All right, coming back. We talked about old man diecast. Coming back to him, coming back to this. 
Man, I really don't want to... Because look, he signed it. Duke King Nut from... And it's autographed and his card is here. But I need to get this open here. You know what? This is how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to... I'm going to use a razor blade. Sorry for this video taking forever. But... Get this out. There. That sticker's coming off because it's going on the on the bench. Look at that. All right, here we go. Let's take a close look at this. Photo, oh man. Look at how he did the motor. This is like jewelry. Sorry, sidetracked. Again, photo montage. Here we go.